everybody. It is Danny, your scrapper on the street. It is day 23 of load 216. Sorry, I have a little bit of throat thing happening, so I thought I was going to cough just then. But it is day 23. We are almost there. We are under a week away from the finish line. Uh, I've been thinking today about what's next for your scrapper on the street, and I'm going to finish my Christmas album. So that's going to be the absolute next thing. I also have a ton of Disney pages to catch up on. There's room to finish cleaning and reorganizing. And uh, I got some new kits in the mail from uh, Lail Conkar and her Lail by Mail kits. So I'm going to be showing those off and doing some fun stuff with those as well. So I'm super excited to be have a game plan for once this is over so I kind of miss that post load what do I do with my life now kind of thing so I'm set. Um, today was transportation and we were talking about boats. Now you would think um, I grew up in New York I spent a lot of time on the Staten Island Ferry I spent a lot of time on the ferry at the Magic Kingdom going back and forth from Chicken and Transportation Center I recently in January we spent a lot of time going back and forth on the boat to downtown Disney from the resort where we stayed and did I have pictures printed of any of that? No. <laughs> so I took this picture. Uh, Tammy and I went to Tampa over the summer. We went to see um, Lady Antebellum in concert out there and we stayed at this fantastic Marriott which had its own marina and we just watched the boats every day. We had a balcony and we just sat out there with cup after cup of coffee and we watched the boats come in and go out and so that's what I documented today. I found this one picture where you could see boats in the background and I used the arrows to kind of help point you in that right direction and then my journal and talks about our conversations about boats and then I tied it in. There's a country song um, so you don't, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a boat. So, and I tied that into my journaling and title, some acrylic dots, some fun papers that fit the color scheme I kind of was going for, and voila. And I'm really loving these Tim Holtz rub-ons. Um, I, I must have really fell in love with them in the store because I had two packs of them unopened and now one pack is almost all gone so I'm super excited that I'm using up some of my stash that had been forgotten and that's kind of what I'm trying to do in here cleaning up is getting rid of stuff and remembering what stuff I loved and start using it so there you go day 23 all done and I will see you all tomorrow have a great day everyone bye